Question number one is coming from motion on an inclined plane. A block of mass 12 kilograms is being pulled by a rope up a rough plane. The plane is inclined at an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal and the rope pulling the block is parallel to the line of greatest slope of the plane. The coefficient of friction between the plane, I mean the block and the plane is 0 0.4. The acceleration of the block is 2 meters per second squared. Find the tension in the rope. One skill you need to uh, have in mechanics uh, is that of sketching. Okay, So if I can draw a sketch here to show the forces that are acting on a particle, I can have this particle here and then tension. There is a rope here. And then there is tension in this one, rope, which is taking that particle up. And then, uh, of course, this one is inclined at an angle of 20 degrees. Then, since this one is a rough plane and they are pulling this particle up, that means uh, the frictional force is acting in the direction that is opposite to that of the action of the force. So that is mu r, which has to be here. Of course, here we have the mg. So as we tilt this, remember, the, uh, the plane is on the horizontal surface like this. So the weight is acting here, okay, downwards. Now, when you tilt this one here, when you tilt this plane to an angle here, that means here the mg which was here is also going to tilt the same angle here but remember we are supposed to take it back here and also here so that we have the components okay of that weight now that simply means that we have to resolve the mg so if it is here that is the angle theta so this mg is going to be now put this one here so the hypotenuse, of course, when I put this one here, this one will be 90. So the hypotenuse goes onto the adjacent. So using Sokatoa, adjacent and hypotenuse are connected by cosine. So that means this one will be mg cosine. And that mg is 12. Okay, I mean m is 12. So I don't even need to show the mg. So I just need to put here my m, then g cosine of the theta which is 20 and then there will be that normal reaction to that particle so long as it is in touch with the plane and then uh, remember there is mg here so when we open up opening is sine closing is cosine so this will be 12g sine of 20 so vertically uh, resolving forces vertically we can see that r is equal to uh, 12g cos 20 which is 120 cos uh, of 20 of course we know that g is equal to what to 10 there is no motion vertically that's why the result out of the forces uh, perpendicular to the plane is zero so in other words what is here is equal to what is going down then since there is motion up the plane parallel to the plane uh, the particle is accelerating upwards and that means the force that is taking the particle up is bigger than the forces that are opposing. So for the forces uh, parallel to the plane or resolving forces horizontally, I will use F is equal to MA. Why? Because the particle moves in the direction of the applied force. So the net force that actually takes this particle will be this T that is going up and then subtract these two. Okay. So we shall have T then minus 12g is the same as 120, then sine of 20, and then plus, uh, we shall also subtract this mu r, okay, mu r, then we shall equate to ma. Now, that means our t is going to be equal to, we take everything this side, okay? So, we have that m, which is 12, then acceleration is given as 2, you can see it here. Then, when I take this one this side, we can have 120, then sine of 20, then plus mu is 0 0.4, then times R is 120, then cos 
of 20. Okay, like that. So putting everything in the calculator to three significant figures, what do we get here? Now you will excuse me here, my calculator is really so small, but whatever you'll be typing on the screen, you'll be able to see it on this pop display. So I will have 12 times two, that is 24, then plus 120, then sign. You have to check the mode of your calculator, it has to be in degrees, then plus 0 0.4 into 120, then the cosine of 20. So everything together, we get our answer as 110. Okay, to three significant figures, one, one, zero. Newton's three significant figures, as simple as that.